All right, this is a long and coming build showcase of mine that I wanted to show off a couple of my favorite builds. I've built a few other things before these and they look like crap, so yeah, of course I deleted them. First one I want to show off is probably my most favorite build of all time. However, due to an old mechanic, it got screwed up. And you can see the result of the mess up right back there, which was trying to keep the farm animals from despawning. They always despawned anyways. So here is my cabin. And yes, that is a fountain, and we'll show the rest of it over there. I always have a bad habit of accidentally breeding dogs, so I end up with like a dozen dogs in a most of my builds. And this one, yeah, there. Now I got them all stopped. First, there's my farm. One pig left. All the others disappeared. One of them did turn into a zombie pig. That was kind of cool. Automatic cactus farm, which was just for fun. Chickens, there were a lot more in here before, but they're the only ones left. And I have no cows, no sheep left on that island over there. This is a little boathouse. Mostly I built this because I needed a way to keep the dogs from getting into the boat. And it turned out really cute. I like it. And down there is my fancy redstone creation i have a rail track that goes to a spawn or a monster spawner zombies and um uh one of those branch mine things that i was doing because at the time i was not much of a caver i suck at combat uh, there's my mushroom farm yeah very simple push the button over here to send water through it washes all the mushrooms down there are two mushrooms on raised uh, blocks so that they always grow and then they come out here really simple to make if you want tutorials or anything and I forgot about that glitch I wish they would fix that uh, when you walk into buttons right now your entire screen gets replaced with the buttons texture which is weird okay here's the begin here's the entrance to my cabin main entrance and I love log large porches and high contrast builds I everything I, I have to have high contrast because I like to be able to see my little details that I add like this archway here um, the little fence posts there the logs the stone it's one of my favorite builds because I managed to use a lot of different materials to make it and I never did finish the second floor but it's still one of my favorite builds. Um, I did this all in survival, of course, so that's the main reason why it's so small. I have a really bad habit of making things too small. This is the map room and lounge. Little flowers. That. Storage and crafting. With my little auto-feeding um, oven thing. Another oven here. Whitestone rail. Yeah, I used to use... Um, signs for all my treasure chests instead of item frames. Especially when I was having a hard time trying to figure out how to keep things from despawning. Another map I was working on. This is the larger one. Come in here. Here's my kitchen. Kitchen is decent for my first kitchen. I like using cauldrons for sinks, only I never really put much more detail into it than that but as I said I've always been limited on space because I always make things way smaller than they should be my tools important tools go in here I said I always have them available because of the zombie spawner I ended up with a lot of armor so I have an extra couple chests full of armor too I'll show you that and this is a bedroom there's a double bed bed posts and yes more dogs um entertainment says center a little table for drawing, discussions, whatever. There's one of the upper porches with a nice view of a mega taiga. Almost every single seed I get where it's just randomly chosen almost always end up with a mega taiga. Somewhere in it. Sometimes I usually I spawn right in it. And here's another from uh, another top floor porch. And my roof. I like clean roofs. I don't, 
I just don't like the ones that some other people build with the random stuff in it, but that's just my personal opinion. Don't pay too much mind, just know that that's why all my roofs look really clean like that. Oh, I never did, I never did anything with the attic, but of course there's an attic up there. And then we come down here, and out this door is my long porch pathway thing, and my forge. Which, yes, I did make it to, uh, hi, Mr. Gollum. Yeah, call him George. He, he's probably the only thing that I named in this world. The dogs didn't have names at all when I was playing this. Here's storage for that specifically, chainmail, gold armor, leather armor. This is mostly from the mob, the uh, zombie spawner. So, I actually switch it to easy, or easier medium. Easy or normal now, more often than hard, because I don't like having all that crap built up. But, that's okay. And then my stone, and yes, I built this tree. The only thing I did in creative were the leaves on the top. Yes, I switched to creative for that, because I got tired of um, falling down and dying and having to go collect my stuff. And then, also, wasting a lot of iron on shears to get the leaves. And my storage chest, just in case I need it. Crafting table, just in case I need it. Another way out. I always usually have two ways out of every place. Come up here, and you'll find... First, you come to my enchanting system, my enchanting center. I have way more books and bookcases in here than I need, but I think they look cool like that. So I do that. And you come back up here even higher. This was where I was going to put the potion brewing, but again, since I couldn't... Fix the, figure out how to fix the problem. I was gonna put potion stand there, potion stand there. Couldn't figure out how to fix the problem, so I just stopped playing this world. And then you come up here even higher, and yes, you kind of heard it. What's at the very top? The worst place that you can build another portal, in my opinion, because the higher up you go, oh, the stranger or the, the worse your starting point is in the nether. I didn't build anything in the nether, so I'm not going to bother showing that off. It's a really bad spot, start, uh, spot for entering the nether, too. Also, this was built back when no mobs spawned on half slabs. Now, the new ch mechanic for that, none of the mobs can, almost none of the mobs can walk on the half slabs. All of them have problems with it, but... Creepers can spawn on half slabs now. I've learned that the hard way. Plus, I've experimented around with it in um, a creative world, an engineering world, just to see exactly what can and cannot spawn on half slabs. But that's... Yeah, I usually use half slabs to build with because I like the extra detail that you can do in the like half-raised, half-lowered type looks. And I've got a chicken... Yeah, he's actually been there for a while. Anyways, that's that build. And... Well, let's take a look at my snowy build, which was another log cabin build. For some odd reason, my log cabin builds always turn out the best. And of course, I'm not starting near the front. So let's go all the way out here so you can get a grand picture of it. And what it looks like. That's one of my hunting towers. That was fun. There's one of my doggies. This is one I managed to keep it down to four dogs total. And, yeah, you can stick around. You follow around. Uh, this is the greenhouse. And I'm just playing with some automated harvesting systems here. Which turned out kind of decent. Uh, this was before pistons, so I didn't have pistons for those. And then you come up here, and this is the cabin. This is probably my favorite cabin that I've built. This used to be a hill. And I built the first floor, or the top floor, first. Dug out, uh, dug out the hill. And as I dug out the hill, I built the floor just below it. The floor below it. I never did finish the basement. The basement's way underneath. Large porch. And this is my barn, which is way too small, but it was my first barn that I ever built, and uh, it turned out decent. 
It was fun to build. Now that I know scaling is one of my weak points, I'm working on that. And then you come inside. Yes, I like that one. Don't judge. <laughs> and of course the dining room. Got the little kitchen in that. It's a little tiny kitchen. As I said, I screw up on scale a lot. And this one I didn't get very much done because I, well, I kind of got bored of it. That's pretty much it. I just got bored of it. It was glitching really bad at the time, so I stopped playing for a while. My reading room. And I was going to build a TV there. Never got around to that. I love my little archways. This is my crafting chamber with my huge oven. And I must have been cooking something there. Of course, tool chest. I always keep a tool chest near the edge. The empty basement. Look, that actually goes to a cavern system. But that's my empty basement that I never finished. This is where I was going to put enchanting. An enchanting library. Yes, a lot of bookcases. And bookcases for decoration, of course. My reading table. And I didn't quite finish the bedroom, but I got most of it done. It's one of my favorite bedrooms that I've built. And lag. Okay, and then here's the outside porch. Sometimes I just jump off here just to hunt and stuff. Yes, I like hunting the evil mobs. And doggies like to dance on them. See, this is the half slab thing. They have a hard time navigating on the half slabs. Underneath these are pumpkins. My hidden lighting. I usually just leave it as jack o' lanterns and leave pumpkins jack o' lanterns. And I never did finish the door frames that I was going to do, but it turns out pretty nice. And that's pretty much it for my showcase for this video. I might do a Let's Play if people want to see a Let's Play. Right now I have it on Peaceful. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to put some bushes and stuff in here too. So if you want to see a Let's Play slash Let's Build, go ahead and let me know. Down in the comment section, Twitter me on Twitter. Same name as always. This one turned out pretty good for using just cobblestone in the upper area. But I didn't have access to all the, um, I couldn't find all of the trees in this one. So, I got a little limited, I only, and I don't like using oak. I don't actually like the color of oak. It's not clean, like the birch, or, I don't even like most of the spruce. I like the spruce logs, though. Spruce logs are best for the contrast. Dark oak would have been preferred, but... I didn't find any in this world. Yes, there's a ice spike biome all across those mountains right there, and lots of plains, very few other forests in this immediate area. This is, yeah, that's the map. So yeah, let me know if you want to let's play, and I'll show you another build, and we'll have fun. Okay. See you and have fun.